Hello, this is Mr. Bamo Idonogone. I'm here to show you how you can draw your Pascal triangle using the Microsoft Word. All you just need to have in your system is to install the FX software, then integrate it into your Microsoft Word and you are good to go. Alright, we all know the Pascal triangle as mathematics teachers. We know the importance of Pascal triangle when it comes to solving expansion of algebraic expressions like um, for example we are solving binomial expansion to some higher powers of 3, 4, 5 just like that so sometimes we may need the Pascal triangle to bring out the coefficient of the of each term so that to be fast for us to solve and in a class your student may have issues in bringing it out and they may not know how to get it fast, especially those that don't have a calculator to do it, especially when you tell them not to use a calculator. So how do they do it? You can get it here very fast and easy using your Microsoft Word. So to start, you go to your FX Draw. After clicking on FFX, go to FX Draw. You open the page. Then the next thing, you come to this place where you have Pascal triangle, you click on it, just click and drag, it will come out the way you want it. So this is your Pascal triangle, so you can change the background of this by clicking, you can see it, I can change the background to just plain surface, I can change to any other shaded, first of all click, I can change to any other form. Just like that. Let me use the plain one. You can change the color to red if you want. All right. So this is it. So this is power zero, power one, power two, power three, power four, power five. So this is Pascal triangle up to power five. If you want to increase the number, just click, click on this setting symbol. You can see. It says you should start at row 0, so we start from power 0, then stop at row 5, this is power 5. So you can increase it to any number, let's say, let's just say for example 10, let's stop at 10 for example. Okay, you can see it up to 10, you can click and stretch out, see, you can stretch it out to see it clearly, just like that. So these are the coefficient of each term when you expand binomial expand expression using the Pascal triangle. So this will be the coefficient 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 up to power 10. Alright, let just let me show you some other things you can actually do with your Pascal triangle in this FX software. Just click here. Let me reduce this to let's say let's say 6 alright you may want to see the combination value you know we only have the coefficient in the in this box and we want to see the combination so you click on this okay so you can see so the first term is 0 combination 0 1 combination 0 1 combination 1 for the first term so if we go to power 5 for example this is the row of power 5 so your first term is going to be 5 combination 0, you get your coefficient for the first term, then 5 combination 1, you get your coefficient for second term. You can see that this thing is actually nice, you can use it in your classroom to teach your student. If you are using binomial expansion method to expand your binomial expression, this is a good one. So these are the coefficient of each term with the combination, so 5 combination 1. 5 combination 2 just like that you keep going so if you don't want this form you may want to get the terms only the terms for each of the expressions still on power still up to power 6 so I click on terms you see no one is highlighted here then ok so these are each of the terms you can see it and if you take note let's go back to you can see that the first term is x second term is y that is the last term first term second term just mainly binomial expansion just expansion of two terms in the bracket then the powers will be increasing as it keeps going you can see it 
power x is reducing when power y is increasing just like that but if you don't want it in this format maybe you want it in expression form that is this one you can keep it like this okay so you can see it in expression form you can stretch it out see you can see it in expression form so the first power that means x plus y raised to power 0 is 1 x plus y raised to power 1 x plus y raised to power 2 when you expand it x plus y raised to power 3 just like that you can see it all through like that so that is all you can have let's change the terms yeah let me use something like let's say first term is uh, let me say one let me see second term is let me use x let's see what we are going to get let's still leave it at expression so you can see the result so you can see that it actually did it nice this is the result when one is the first term the first value must be one the expansion keeps going like that so if you study your binomial expansion very well you will see that this binomial this pascal triangle in fx is very nice so depend on what you want you can see it and use it the way you want it let's do one more thing before we go you can let's change this to another letter let me see letter let me use letter p for example let's see what it will give you can see it actually changed the value to p all right so if you are true with your pascal like this you can tap on this button it will take you to your microsoft word and it will come out the way you want it you can drag it to whatever place you want to put it in your system just like that so if you don't want this you want to edit anything you can click on this click on edit you go back to where you came from then click on it do your settings go back to numbers okay leave it back like this you can drag it smaller i don't want it to power six i want power five stop there okay all right go to microsoft word it will appear there like this then drag it to where you want to position it and you are good to go so this is all i have for this video how to draw the pascal triangle using microsoft word all you just need to do is to have your fx installed in your system integrated in your microsoft word then whatever you want to do you can do it you are the teacher so you know what you are, want in your class you know your objective just do what you want play around with it be used to it click and edit add whatever you want to add add whatever terms you wish to add and you see you are good to go so i hope you enjoyed this video so you can do other things you can see lines hexagon let me put lines let's see see let me go back let's go back to numbers lines let's see you can see different design you want you can try hexagon let's see different design you go to your microsoft okay thank you so much for watching do have a nice day